Hello, and in this snail craft episode, we are going to be getting stacked in as many ways possible. First, it's regular old mining. I'm here with my friend Thor Odinson, uh, just doing regular mining, just mining out a big area, so he's got a diamond pickaxe, that must be much faster than my stone one, especially on deep slate. This is pain! Like, subscribe if you want me to have more pain! Um... If you like and subscribe, I will mine 1,000 deep slate ore with a stone pickaxe. It will be done. It, it might sound impossible, but it will be done, okay? Like and subscribe, and I will do that. I will. 100%. Definitely. Okay, so now, the second method, we are going to be uh, killing people. This is the base that I started last time. I have a fancy pantsy piston door. Then that button open that, that button opens it from the inside. But we need to build a lava pitfall trap just to stop people from stealing my stuff. Because half of getting good stuff is stopping ste people stealing your stuff. Again, the Rodinson, he is very OP, uh, and he is giving me free stuff, which is very very nice. Thank you so much. This is like a god pickaxe, but my Wi-Fi is so bad I can't even use it. Oh, sorry, a fishing rod. I don't know what I was saying. Okay, the pitfall trap is nearly done. I've got the pressure plate and the pit. I think... No, I haven't put the lava in. Yeah. Uh, and the pit, but I just haven't got the pistons. So you step on the pressure plate, walk forward onto the block I am on now. The pistons open, then shut. Then you can walk across. Uh, you, if there's someone with you, you sort of have to trust them not to open it as you're walking across. But anyway, so... Yeah, I've got my fancy door. which And do you like the design of the room? It's... Crack. I I like it. It it took it took it took ages for me to build. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm kind of my my elytra is very broken, but I mean, it yeah, it's broken. I don't have mending yet, so we're gonna try and get that. Okay. So now, as a the next portion of the base, the monkey king is the worst. He just broke an infinite water source. How does this man do it? Link to his channel in the description. But still, how on earth does he manage to break an infinite water source? What? The, this is confusing me. Okay, so now we need to get gold from an ocean monument. Because that's another way of getting rich. So, yeah, I've got mining fatigue and don't really have water breathing potions. So this is going to be pain. But hopefully, pain... Is your enjoyment so yeah okay i have one bubble but i can i i know there's an elder guardian right there we just need to we just need to stab him with my diamond sword i am taking water damage uh, come on come on death 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 oh i'm in a block oh death death blood for the blood god death death Death. Death. Come on. I can't keep saying death forever. Eh. And I went on to beat the game. Okay, so the next method of getting rich is villagers. Right now, we have a decently large happy family. Soon, we will have a cult of non-happy uh, cultists. I don't know what the plural... What, what, what you call someone who's in a cult. Still, uh, I mean, the Monkey King, he is, he is stacked. He's too far away. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. So in order to get more villagers, we need to expand the breeder. So we'll, we just need to watch Luke the Notable 100 days. Just just to know that more villagers, the more cash. That's how it works. Um, so we're just going to be expanding the breeder. Okay, so now we need to uh, build a iron farm because that's another way of getting rich. Our cult of villagers is getting massive, but still we need more for an iron farm. So yeah, we're gonna do some villager stuff, then it'll be iron farm time. These guys, they're, they're really, really, I'm really starting to like them. Okay, we're starting to mine out the area which the iron farm's gonna be in. It's gonna be a big hole in the ground with an iron farm in it. Because, you know, why not? There was already a big ditch here. So we're just mining it out. And this could take some time. 
Okay, so now we need to get villagers over there. I just want you to know this is ten times speed. Ten times. Yes, this, this took ages getting villagers over here. It was very arduous. Because we have villagers, we have mending villagers, and this man here, Thor Odinson, the guy who I was with at the beginning, is trading eight diamonds for three mending books. I'm now a rich boy, and now I can afford full diamond armor. Okay, uh, my skin reset to Steve, and my elytra disappeared because of lag, but I now have full diamond armor, and we need to take this villager over here for a secret project. Okay, I am here with Earthy Stream, or the Monkey King, and he is he is building the secret project i'm oh thanks so much now i have to go up the like a hundred block ladder if you know what this is then you, you you're good at bedrock minecraft but uh so so yeah i'm just gonna need to get back up there but he we're building a secret project and he's building it i'm getting villagers and stuff for it it's not an iron farm the iron farm never worked so we're never going to talk about that because because it, it never worked but yeah we're just going to be building this up over time this man's got all of the stuff he needs for the build in this shulker box we don't need all the beds at the bottom that was for netherite mining but still if you can guess from that what we're going to be building then you're a good gamer so yeah grinding we have now finished it, in case you guessed correctly. It is a raid farm. Well, in case you didn't guess correctly, it's a raid farm. So the raiders spawn in the little box. We then kill them through the slit between the chests and the top so that then they can't shoot us or activate Vex if they're evokers. Just for reference, I just fell off the top and I'm trying to... I'm a god at Minecraft, everyone. I am a god at Minecraft. My, I didn't have my elytra on, but yeah, I, I am now a god at Minecraft. Like and subscribe. I am a god. Now we're just going to be grinding the raid farm uh, until we have loads and loads of totems. Okay, now I have uh, double totems. So I guess it's going to be the end of this video. I am now completely stacked, apart from enchanting my armor, but I'll do that off camera. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!